We're going to start today sat on your heels with your toes, the balls of your feet, pushing into the floor. And um, this can be very uncomfortable if you're not used to sitting like this. So as soon as it becomes uncomfortable, you can just sit, sit down on your heels. Um, but let's start like this with our eyes closed uh, because we so rarely um, pay attention to our feet. And this is actually a really, really nice way to show some gratitude for our feet and we're giving them a chance to relax. So stay like this for as long as it feels good. Um, I wanted to focus on gratitude today um, because I don't know if you have a gratitude practice or not. Um, I've had one for about ooh, a year maybe. And that's just involves me writing three things every morning that I'm grateful for. And I do it every day, and so often, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's me going through the process rather than really feeling gratitude for something. And I wanted to use this opportunity to um, bring gratitude mindfully into the practice because, one, being sick and becoming well again made me feel so grateful for mostly being healthy, you know, 99.99% of the time. And it's, it's so easy to forget how lucky we are to be able to practice yoga, to be able to move forward in the world, to feel healthy every day, to want to get out of bed, to be able to eat food, enjoy food, all of these things we take for granted and I feel really, really grateful for that. And also because uh, I always feel so, so grateful for these practices together. Um, they're so meaningful to me. Am I going to cry? Maybe. Um, so I wanted to honour that as well. Um, because we've obviously missed a few classes and just wanted to send lots and lots of gratitude to you. So we'll, um, we'll just hold that gratitude in our hearts for the practice, then at the end um, we'll all write some things that we're grateful for. So, inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to your heart centre. We'll begin with one chant of Om. Inhale fully. Exhale fully. Inhale for arm. Open your eyes. Namaste. And we will begin. So if you can stay on the balls of your feet, great. Otherwise, just come to sit on your heels. And we're just going to start very gently waking the body up. I haven't moved in six days, whenever Thursday was. So we're going very slowly. So inhale, start to lift the right arm up by your ear. Reach that arm up and then bend the elbow. Take your left arm to the right elbow and gently Open up the right shoulder by pushing the right elbow towards the left side. Extend the right arm up, extend the left arm up. Reach the left arm and then bend the left elbow. Gently pushing the left elbow to the right to open that shoulder. Extend both arms up, reach up, and then push the air down with your arms as they come back down towards your hips. Extend the right arm forward and bring the left arm underneath it, and then use the left arm to turn the right arm towards the left side. So still opening the shoulder, but now you can feel we're working into the tops of the shoulders. And come into zombie arms, reach the left arm, right elbow comes underneath, and move the left arm over to the right side, getting into that left shoulder. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra, prayer, 
and then drop the hands back to the bottom of your neck or the top of your spine and open the chest here so elbows pull backwards open your armpits really really wide and open the chest Reach the arms back up, drop the left arm down, and then reach the right arm over towards the left side. Breathing into the right rib cage, right side body. And then switch. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down, and reach over. Breathe into the left side body and exhale back down. I am certainly feeling my feet. I'm going to come onto my heels. You can stay or come down. And we're just going to very gently roll the head to one side and then the other side. This time as you roll the right ear to the right shoulder, Take your right hand and very gently put a little bit of pressure so you can really feel the stretch all the way down into your collarbone. And release. Roll the neck over to the left side. And then take the left hand onto the right ear gently apply some pressure so you can feel the gentle stretch don't go any more than it just being a nice gentle sensation on the right side of the neck and release come forward onto all fours and toes can be tucked or straight whichever feels better hands on the shoulders knees under hips Push down with all 10 fingertips and inhale, lift the chest, exhale, round the spine, inhale, look up and exhale, tuck the tailbone, engage the core, inhale, exhale. Come back to a flat back and then inhale, lift the left arm up, exhale, bring the left arm underneath the right shoulder until the left arm is on the floor. Drop the left ear to the floor and a couple of options, you can bring the right hand onto your left hip. This is a more gentle variation or you can extend the right arm forward and look at your right hand. But you want to feel the sensation of the opening in your shoulders. Again, make it gentle, make it loving. No need to force anything. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. So I invite you to close your eyes if that helps you to feel into your body, feel into the stretch that bit more. Walk the right hand back so it's underneath your shoulder and push yourself back up to all fours. I'm turning just so you can see me easier, but you do not need to turn. And then inhale, reach the left arm up. Bring that arm underneath the right. Drop the shoulder on. Wait, is that the side we just did? No. <laughs> Lift the left arm, bring it under the right. And then either stretch the arm in front of you it is the same arm. It's the same bloody arm. <laughs> Don't turn around with practice. It's very confusing. The do what other arm you didn't just do. I can't get my head into it. Okay, there we go. The opposite arm. 
And again, either bring the hand to your hip or extend it in front of you. Close your eyes and focus on the breath. Feel the opening in the shoulder blades. And then bring the left hand, <laughs> bring, the, bring one hand under your shoulder and push back up to all fours. Wow, my brain is totally fine. And then we're going to slide the hands forward on your mat. Keep your hips on top of your knees. Reach the arms forward, slide them away from you and drop your forehead onto the floor. Coming into Anahatasana. Or puppy pose. And you want to feel that opening in your shoulders again, but this time you're going to feel it on the outside of the shoulder blades. Just really feel them stretching away from each other. And you can intensify the stretch by bringing the hands closer together, or relax the stretch by bringing them further apart. As you feel into your shoulders, start to let your chest drop down that bit more, your hips up that bit higher, it can be very nice here to bring a pillow underneath your chest, which I think I'm going to do. And if you're very comfortable here, you can bring the chin to the floor instead of the forehead. mat with your fingers and your elbows and use that grip to pull your chest forward between your hands and you can move the cushion away again and we're all going to start in sphinx pose so that is elbows underneath the shoulders feet pushed down into the floor each fingertip into the floor the mound between your index finger and thumb and then gently pull the arms back so you can lift your chest just that tiny bit further. Check in with your bum, is it clenched? Mine is. Relax your bum. Let the, let the tension here be in your legs rather than in your glutes. So as you strengthen through the legs, you should be able to feel a relaxation in your glutes and this is a great place to work so stay here if this is enough otherwise you can push even more into the hands to start to lift the elbows up coming into cobra if you're in cobra you want to relax the bum whilst pushing the pelvis down into the floor. Keep watching your glutes, don't let them clench up. The legs are how you're protecting your lower back here. You can walk the hands back if you want more of a back opener. Everyone, drop all the way down onto the floor and then bend your knees and bring both feet towards your sit bones and see how far you can bring them in without touching the feet. So getting into the quads now and then you can take the hands back and pull the feet back towards your sit bones. Really feel the breath, you can experience the inhale, your belly pushing into the floor, and exhale, 
belly comes away from the floor. Release the feet. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes and push your chest up. Come onto your knees. Drop the sit bones all the way to the heels. And then lift the hips up. Come into downward facing dog. So again, all of that openness we've just created between the shoulder blades, bring that into your downward facing dog. The shoulder blades move away from each other, which allows you to turn the elbows in and forward. So unless you're <laughs> very flexible, you want to imagine you've got two lights on the crease of your elbows and those lights, you're trying to turn them forward. And then that length that that creates in your arms, use that length, feel it through your spine as you lift your hips higher. Knees can be bent. We don't need to start overstretching the hamstrings. Just feel the length in your spine. Then look between your hands and slowly start to walk forward and really push into the foot as you walk so that you can even feel your hip joint pushing in from the pressure of your small but strong step. Keep walking until you are at the front of your mat with your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, shoulders back, exhale, fold forward. Take hold of your elbows and let the head drop, let the neck relax. Release the elbows and bring your hands together behind your back. Fingers interlace. Pull the arms away from you as you start to let the arms come up over your head. Release the hands down, let the fingertip graze the mat as you start to bend, sink the hips. And start to rise up, bringing the head up last. Fingers, hands meet overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Close your eyes and notice how you feel. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for? Open your eyes and inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Come into a very gentle back bend so the arms maybe just come past your ears. Push forward with the hips, lift the chest and exhale, hinge from the hips as you come down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back. Step the left leg back, drop the knees, bring the chest down between your hands and inhale, push up, Ujjengasana, Cobra Pose. Watch those boots, I'm saying this to myself. And exhale, push back, down the facing dog. Okay, so a little play with our balance here as we come into a twist. See if you can bring your weight into your right hand and both feet. As you start to lift the left arm, left hand away from the floor, and then take that hand either onto uh, the back of your thigh, just above your knee, or maybe you can slide it down onto the calf or the ankle. Once you're steady-ish, <laughs> steady-ish is all we need, you twist 
underneath your right armpit. Use the breath to stay steady, focused. Release the left hand down. Start to bring your weight into the left hand and first just reach the right fingertips up. The hand just a couple of centimeters off the floor. And then see if you can take hold of the back of the thigh, back of the calf or back of the ankle. And then twist underneath the left armpit. Strong and steady breath. If you're stumbling, that does not matter at all. Just play with your balance. Everyone, let's come back to a four-legged downward dog. Take a breath here. Big breath in through the nose. Ah, exhale out through the mouth. Again, big breath in. Start to lift the right leg up, bend the right knee, and open the hip out towards the right. So right foot comes towards your sit bone. Look under the right shoulder and feel the opening in your hips. Woo my hips are tight. And then square the hips. Keep the right knee bent, and as it moves past the left knee, you start to bend the left knee. Rock your chest forward until your uh, chest is in line with the shoulder hands. Push the floor away from you, and maybe you can step between. Otherwise, step, 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 however you need to get here. Drop the back knee and foot, and inhale, rise up, low lunge. Let's find that Kali Mudra. So clasp the fingers together and extend the index fingers out. And think about the energy in those two fingertips. Bring the left hand down towards your left hip and bend the right elbow. And this time, see if you can take hold of the hands between your back. And then if you've got the grip, you open the chest, move both shoulders backwards. If you can't reach, no problem. You can either grasp onto your t-shirt, or as we did at the beginning of the class, use the left hand to open the right elbow, right shoulder. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Lift the left elbow and twist over to the right. So left elbow outside the right knee. Push your hands together so you can twist your chest over towards the right. And then drop the left hand down next to your right foot. Look at your right hand and follow the right hand as you bring it up above your head and back behind you. Then bend the left knee and see if you can take hold of the left foot. Pull that foot in towards you and then come onto the outer edge of your right foot, opening the right knee away from you and open the chest here. If you can look over your right shoulder. If you can't reach the foot, no problem. Keep reaching behind you, but keep the right knee straight. And then watch the right hand as you bring it right back overhead, outside your right foot, and step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, 
bend the left knee and open the left hip. Bring that left foot towards your sit bone. Open, open, look onto the left armpit. And then square the hips as you bring your left knee past your right. Both knees bend. Push the floor away from you and see if you can step between. Or step, step, step. Or you bring the left elbow underneath the left knee and move it. Drop the right knee. Inhale, arms up, Kali Mudra, but the other, clasp your fingers the other way and extend the index finger. And see if you can close your eyes here. This mudra is very powerful. Can you tap into that Kali energy? Then bring the hand into prayer above your head. And then drop the hands to the top of your spine, back of your neck, opening the chest here. Inhale, arms up. Drop both hands down. Look at so the right hand uh, next to your left foot. And look at the left arm and gracefully sweep it overhead, follow the arm back behind you. So this is option one. You, we're still opening the shoulder here, still twisting. Stay here or see if you can take hold of the left foot. Pull it in towards you and if uh, you're comfortable there, then you open the left knee out. And then everyone think about opening the chest up to the left shoulder. Looking behind you. And exhale. Left hand back down. Follow it down. And step back. Down facing dog. Take a moment to bend the knees. Shake everything out. Then look between your hands, bend the knees, and yogi's choice, step or jump between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Palms together over your head. Adha Hastasana, exhale, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes, notice how you feel. Let the feeling of gratitude emanate out from your heart. Bring your awareness to your heart center. Open your eyes. And we're going to repeat the same flow, but with some add-ons. So if you don't want to go to the next level, then you repeat exactly as we just did. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the chest, push your hips forward, and exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, yogi's choice, step or jump, knees down, cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Everyone, let's hold either cobra or up dog. If you're in cobra, push the pelvis down. If you're in up dog, think about pushing the hips forward. And that is how you get the openness in your chest. Hips coming down and through your arms. Not literally. Think about them coming almost through your arms. And exhale, push back down facing dog. moving your shoulders away from each other, dropping the chest down towards the floor, lift 
up through your sit bones, your hips. And maybe start to lengthen the legs, extending the knees. If you are extending the knees, again, imagine those lights on the joints at the back of the knees. And you're radiating out through those lights. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Stay here or we'll flip the dog. So you do that by pivoting the left foot inwards and stepping the right foot back. Extend the left leg and reach the right arm away from you. Lift the hips high. And exhale. Back down, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And again, slowly, slowly, coming through. Bring the nose, the knee to the nose. And step through or shift through. Drop the back knee. And inhale, reach up. And this time, Bend the elbows, cactus the arms away from you to open the chest. Feel that space in your heart center. No forcing here. It should be a gentle opening. You can even put your hands on your chest and physically open your heart. Reach the arms back up. Bring them down either side of your right foot. Look at the right arm as you bring that arm up overhead. And look at it as it reaches back. Option here to take hold of the foot and pull it in. If you have the foot, roll onto the right outer edge of your right foot. And open the hip. You can stay here or maybe you can come down onto your left elbow. Take hold of your right ankle, which will help you to open the chest. Come back, release the foot, bring the right knee back up, right hand back down, and push back, downward facing dog. Hold here for a breath whilst I check the time. Oh my God, the time goes so quick. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip out, stay here or flip the dog, pivot on your right foot, extend the right leg, open your heart, open your chest. Coming back down, downward facing dog, left leg lifts. Step the left foot through, drop the back knee, inhale, low lunge, and this time clasp the hands together behind your back, pull the hands away from you to help you open the chest, shoulders pulling back. Imagine someone was pulling down on your hands. Release the hands, reach back up, bring the hands down, follow the left hand as it comes up and over, look back at the left hand, stay here or take hold of the foot, roll over onto the left outer edge and maybe down onto the right elbow. Come back onto both hands and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend the right knee and bring the right knee to your right elbow and then drop the right shin all the way onto the floor. Take your cushion, push the left leg back and bring the Cushion underneath your right hip, 
unless you don't need to. We haven't warmed up the hips that much, so I think it's nice to support yourself. If you can, always, obviously. So take a moment here to open the chest. Maybe you have your hands forward, it's fine. Still think about opening the chest here. And as we did before, you're going to look at your left hand, bring that left hand up and behind you. So this is option one, and this is a lot. This is not an uh, easy pose. So if that's too much, come back and think about opening the heart. If this feels okay, then you take hold of the foot. And if you have the foot, yes, nice guys, very nice. If you have the foot, push the foot into the hand so you can open the left shoulder even more and come to face towards the front. And then start to bend the right elbow. See if you can bring that foot in anymore. And maybe you can wrap your wrist around it. Maybe you can wrist, I can't speak guys, my God. Maybe you can wrap your elbow around it. And if you can, still think about bringing the chest forward. Come into mermaid if that's in your practice, which is if you have the elbow around, you reach the right arm up and take the bind. And then release and push, remove the cushion, push back down with facing dog. Lift the left leg up, bring it to your left elbow. Drop the left shin down and push the right foot back. Bring something nice underneath your left sit bone. So you can prop yourself up as much as you want until you can kind of comfortably sit like this. If it's not comfortable, don't do it. Come down. This is a big, big, big hip opener. So please listen to your body. If this feels okay, then you follow the right hand up and over. Look behind you. Stay here or take the foot. Push the foot into the hand and turn your torso forwards. Maybe you can start to pull that foot in and a good place to work here is if you can get the fingers to wrap over the toes because that's the rotation in your shoulder you want to eventually one day maybe come into king pigeon so maybe you can hook your wrist around or your elbow Keep opening the chest come into mermaid if it's in your practice And then release and remove your support from under your left hip. Drop onto your left hip, swing the right leg forward, left leg forward, come onto your sit bones, pull your butt cheeks out, and inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold forward. So legs, uh, hands underneath the knees, or maybe the ankles, or maybe just next to your calves, on the toes, around the feet, or take the bind. A lot of options. Think about lengthening through the spine, flex your toes towards your face, and fold forward. Inhale, look up. Bring your hands just behind you so you can scooch forward and come down onto your back. Knees are bent, feet are parallel in line with your hips. 
take your hands and make sure there is one hand's distance between uh, your glutes and your heels. Inhale, start to lift the hips up. Coming into Septu Bandha, bridge pose. And you can come push down onto your elbows so you can lift up onto your shoulders. Push the space between your ears down into the floor. If this feels okay, maybe you can bring your hands underneath your hips and support yourself with your hands. Keep pushing firmly down with the feet. That will help elevate the hips. Keep the shoulders coming in towards each other and your weight gently, gently, gently onto your shoulders so you can open your chest more. Option to take the hands underneath you, clasping the hands together. Then everyone slowly come down, vertebra by vertebra. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your nose to your knees and give yourself a lovely big hug of gratitude for yourself. Give yourself all the love in the world that you deserve. Tell yourself that you will look after yourself and love yourself forever. If you're practicing with someone, maybe you want to take a moment to look at them and tell them you'll love them forever as well. If there's someone in the house you need to shout that to, I love you forever. He's teaching, he won't appreciate that. Uh, or if there's someone in your heart that you need to say that to, say that to them in your heart. <sighs> then release back down. Take hold of your outside of your feet in your hands. Make sure that the tailbone stays grounded. So don't lift the tailbone up. It stays down. And see what's more comfortable. Having your hands on your ankles. Oh, that's quite comfortable for me, actually. I never do that or on your toes. And then pull the knees gently down towards the floor, opening the hips whilst maintaining the lower spine on the floor. If you like to rock back and forth, then do. Bring your knees together and slide the feet out away from you. Inhale, give yourself a big, big, big stretch and release. Bring your hands onto your heart. Inhale fully and exhale. Let your body sink into the floor whilst you maintain your hands over your heart. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for? Who am I grateful for? What is in my power that I can bring more of into my life to be able to experience this beautiful, beautiful feeling of gratitude? Release your hands away from your heart or keep them there. But trusting that this feeling of pure love still exists. You can feel the love now in 
part of my hands after having physically put them on my heart chakra, this sea of compassion and love. Inhale and see if you can experience the true, true love which exists around us all the time. We are love. Breathe love in. Breathe love back out. Bring your feet together. And inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Give yourself a big stretch of gratitude for practicing today, for being with your body today, for opening your heart. Exhale, release. Bend one knee and roll over onto the other side of your body. With your eyes closed, push yourself up to seated. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to your heart center. Inhale fully. Exhale fully. Inhale for arm. So, so grateful to have shared this practice with you. Hariyam Tatsat. And it would be lovely if we all took a moment to write out uh, three things that we're grateful for this morning. And uh, see if you can really, really feel what that feels like to experience gratitude for yourself and for the loved ones in your lives. don't have a gratitude practice already then you can look online there's loads of different things that you can do to bring more gratitude into your life but obviously it's such a positive energy source to really take I take five minutes every day to do it to think what wonderful things are in my life it's so easy to focus on negative things and we are all surrounded by incredible things as well and um, personally what I also find to be really powerful and useful is what I'm grateful for at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, write three things that piss me off. Um, and that's in order to let go of those things before the end of the day. Um, and you can you know, physically get rid of it after you've written it, burn it, rip it up. Um, I mean, if you can ever burn something before the end of the day, great. Uh, and I've also found it to be really useful to notice behaviors that I exhibit all the time. Notice what things piss me off and why and then it's uh, much easier to stop those negative feelings when they come up. But that's just me. Maybe you have your practice already. It'd be lovely if you could share that in, the, in a message. Or of course the internet has a million options. I'm stopping talking because I was late and I've gone on forever now. I'm so happy to feel better and to get to see all your beautiful faces. Mwah! Love you.